This is another Fox News alert. A federal judge moments ago issuing a temporary restraining order stopping the release of downloadable blueprints for 3D printed guns. Earlier today, President Trump tweeted that he is consulting with the NRA on this controversy. Correspondent Anita Vogel tells us tonight several states are actually suing the Trump administration to block this release. For God's sakes, uh, when it comes to something as basic as public safety, our State Department saying, hey, this is a giveaway for terrorists. Fear and outrage from the Washington State Attorney General as he files suit against the State Department on behalf of nearly a dozen states over the government's decision to allow a Texas company to publish files detailing how to build a gun with something as simple as a 3D printer. Critics say these ghost guns will be made of plastic with no serial numbers and will be practically invisible. These firearms will be undetectable. They will pass through metal detectors without a blip, a buzz, or a bell that is going off. These ghost guns are the new wave of American gun violence. Because the State Department is charged with regulating the sale of firearms outside of the U.S., it was the agency which blocked Texas company Defense Disrupted after it briefly published the gun blueprints in 2013. The company then sued the State Department, the owner Cody Wilson claiming his free speech rights were being violated. The government does not have the power to tell people they can't post information on the Internet. That's a violation of free speech. Also, state law is trumped by federal law. Just last month, the State Department settled that suit, saying certain firearms and related items are already widely available for commercial sale. The U.S. State Department gave our client a license to post these files online. Uh, so this is an unconstitutional action in every respect. This didn't happen by accident. The Trump administration, pushed by the gun activists, did this. Defense Distributed vowed that as of August 1st, midnight tonight, the age of downloadable guns would formally begin. But Brett, as you noted at the top, within the last half hour, a district judge in Seattle has granted a temporary restraining order, meaning the company Defense Distributed cannot publish those pictures of 3D guns online for the time being. We will be following this story and see where it goes from here. Brett, back to you. We will. Anita, thank you. President Trump asks his 